Every day is tough for Jackie McGeehee. He has spent two decades praying for his son. He's a very educated, sweet kid, and that, that's all there is to it. Jackie McGeehee found these photos of his only son, Jason McGeehee. I talk to him once in a while, and I try to go down there what I can, and uh, I feel sorry for him. Jason has spent half of his life on death row, convicted of kidnapping and killing 15-year-old John Melbourne Jr. I couldn't believe it. I really couldn't and everything. I was, I was hurt, I was aggravated at the system. Jackie is aggravated at the system because Jason is one of three people convicted of killing John, but the only person who got the death penalty, even though he did not commit the final act, strangulation. He's guilty of association, and that's what they'll say. Well, he was with the wrong crowd. Well, why does Jason have to die? Why don't they take the, the people who done it and put them on death row because they know they done it. There's now even debate whether testimony in the guilt phase of the trial was even accurate. Jackie says one of the men convicted, Christopher Epps, now says that he lied about Jason's role because he was upset at him. He finally calmed down and realized this is not right. Jason is going on, is on death row. He's fixing to get executed. So he came in and uh, with the attorneys and everything like that and give his statement that Jason didn't have nothing to do with it. This was brought up in Jason's clemency hearing. The Arkansas State Parole Board recommended clemency for Jason. I just want somebody to look at everything. If, if Jason is guilty of this, then they should do something. But he's not guilty and the pro that's the whole problem. I want, like the parents do of John, I want justice, but I want justice the right way. Jack